why exogenous ketones work is that they actually, you know, in a, in a short period of time after ingesting them, they move your body, your body into ketosis, okay? So once in ketosis, your body's running a different system completely biochemically than what it runs when it's in, an, in what we call an insulin-dependent system. So your body responds to, to, in, to sugar by, as blood sugar increases, your body produces insulin and that allows the cells, you know, muscle cells and other tissues to take up um, that, the, that, that glucose and either store it as fat or use it as energy. You know, but it's, your body's got to try and keep that at a very consistent level. So, you know, so it's, it's having to, it often will, um, because if, you, if the blood sugar gets too high, that's so dangerous for the system that your body will often secrete more insulin than it needs and that causes that blood sugar dropout, which is why when people run on insulin, they're doing this all day, you know? So they have this initial up with the first coffee and their piece of toast, you know, and then, then they crash around town and they need something sweet, you know, again, like they'll either have another, co another coffee or they'll have some biscuits or they might have a piece of fruit if they're feeling slightly healthy. And then, um, and then that, that gets them through to lunchtime. And if they have a high sugar lunch and they crash again by three, so again, they're looking for something then, you know, and, and it becomes that almost desperation to get it. Whereas when you're, on, when you're running on ketones, ketones are like running a really efficient diesel in your system instead of uh, a short acting high octane fuel, you know? So sugar is really short acting and, and gives you an initial lift, but a, a faster drop. Whereas ketones are, are a slow burn, you know? And, they, and therefore they keep the energy really consistent in the system. They have an appetizing suppressant kind of uh, effect on the brain because obviously if you're in ketosis, you know, you normally have fasted to get there. And if anyone who's done any fasting will realize once you get to about day two or three and you move into ketosis, you stop thinking about food so much. You're no longer as hungry. It's not such a big dominant deal for you, you know? You're not feeling, God, I have to eat now. You're thinking, well, I, I could eat and that smells nice, but it's like a smelling a flower. It's kind of, you know, it's another nice thing, but I don't have to have it. You get past that that point and so you have you know taking exogenous ketones and moving into that straight away means that it becomes like that for you you could eat you feel like you're much lighter and leaner but you don't feel like you have to eat so you can stretch it out between meals which is super important because the biggest issue that people have as well when they're on that roller coaster is they're eating too frequently <coughs> and you and your migrating motor complex of your small intestine takes four to five hours to kick in so they're tending to get this congestion in their, in, their, um, uh, in their lower digestive system and that contributes to this toxicity over time. So ketones allow you to have bigger spaces between meals. It stops you having to think about food when you're engaged in whatever you're engaged in. And when you do go to eat, you generally feel like protein, fat and greens, you know? So um, that being like a, just like a, a chicken salad or, or, or a lamb and vegetables or, um, or if you're you know, moving in a vegetarian direction, then you're doing it with you know, coconut oil and those sorts of things to really drive, drive your system. And, um, and again, once you eat, you feel like, oh, I'm kind of content for a, a good four to five hours easily, you know? So it's much easier to create that space to run your body leaner and, uh, and not have to use as much energy to digest food as well. So you, cause you just don't eat as much per, per serving. So yeah, just a much more efficient system for the body.